Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm gonna be the show 19. So six inning program, we completed it. I think I finished it at around like 6 a.m. I know like right now it's like 5 p.m. But you know we we got it done pretty quick. I feel like, and we just grinded that out. So you know the program set up like it always is. We got I think like 20 to 30 program points from the daily missions. 30 from the 10 online games. I would recommend doing this in Battle Royale unless there is an event, but there's no event currently. And then six inning conquest challenge. We got that done. And I'll actually show you guys the map and like where some of the special packs are also. And then the six inning voucher that plus 75 is always big. And then of course all the moments. So the moments, I don't think they were that bad. You know, there's a couple of tough ones like the six RBIs. And like some total bases ones that you had to do and even like the last one where I think you needed to get two home runs and a stolen base and all that stuff I mean I did that my first try but I, I've heard some people had trouble with that one but you know the program just grinding it out and I think overall you know it, it was pretty simple now the rewards we got a few packs I will show you guys like when we open up the hunter program pack and like when I opened those up I talked about those cards same with the 200 programs. So for the 100 program points in the six inning program, we're going to make that choice right now. We have Lefty Grove has 73 hit per nine, 77 K per nine, 78 walk per nine, the 91 home run per nine, 70 clutch, 95 fastball, 82 curve, 87 forkball, and an 85 changeup. It's a decent looking card. You know, nothing crazy, but 87 overall. Then we have... Mark Melanson, a closing pitcher, 88 hit per nine, 80K per nine, 96 walk per nine, 94 home run per nine with a 90 clutch, 93 cutter, 82 knuckle curve, 94 four seam, and an 87 splitter. And then the last choice we have is Eric Davis, another impact veteran card, 85 overall, has 106 contact versus righties, 82 versus lefties, 80 power versus righties, and 80 versus lefties, 61 vision. And then bronze tier defense, 61 speed. So most of these cards is good if you're trying to get Hannes Wagner and do those impact veteran collections or the all-star collection. I'm going to end up taking Mark Melanson just because I feel like he's, he's the only one that might be usable if I actually want to keep him on my team. So that's the player we're going to go with. So at 200 program points, we have another signature series pack. And these cards look pretty good. I think all of them are solid. We have Dante Bichette has the 107 contact versus righties, 109 versus lefties, 86 power versus righties, and 91 versus lefties, 100 vision, and then silver tier defense, which, you know, it's kind of low, 66 speed. But I definitely think it's a solid hitting card. Great contact numbers, power numbers are good, good vision. So that's one of the choices. Then we have Matt Carpenter. And is this going to pull up for us so we can see? He has, he has 104 contact versus righties, 91 versus lefties, 89 power versus righties, and 84 versus lefties, 94 vision, has gold tier defense, 78 fielding, 53 speed, can play first, second, and third. I actually like his swing. I think he has a good swing in the game, and his hitting attributes are pretty nice, so I think this could also be a solid card. Then we have Catfish Hunter, has the 96 hit per nine, 82 K per nine, 91 walk per nine. 91 walk per nine, 81 home run per nine, has a 93 fastball, 86 slider, 78 changeup, 76 curveball, and a 91 two seam fastball. So his pitch repertoire, it looks pretty good. Pitch speed differential is all right. I don't think 93 fastballs high end or anything. So I don't know if he's going to be that effective because of that fastball being so slow. But the pitch speed differential, I think it's 17 from the fastball to the curveball. That is not bad at all, but that's not bad at all, and uh, I think he could be a solid card. You know, nothing crazy, but I think he definitely could be a solid starting pitcher, maybe a fifth option, even though, you know, that's randomized. I think we're going to go with Matt Carpenter right here. You know, he's definitely the best-looking card, and I also think he's the most expensive to start things off, so we're going to pick him up, probably sell him, and then see if we can pick him up again another time and... You know, add him to the Hannes Wagner collection. So we're going to go with Carpenter right here. And that's going to be our pick. But the 300, the actual bosses, I didn't really talk about it when I did it. Because I, I wasn't actually recording that. So we got Ken Griffey Jr., probably my favorite player of all time. Has the 110 contact versus righties, 100 versus lefties, 114 power versus righties, and 109 versus lefties. 105 vision, has diamond tier defense, 84 speed. Really good card. You know, I'm not going to have him right now. But once I do pick him up, you know, once his price is at 
you know, a good time to buy. We're definitely going to get him, and he, he's going to be in our lineup the rest of the year. But really good 5 tool player. I think his power numbers are, you know, they're, they're good. <laughs> you don't get me wrong, they're good. But I feel like they could have been better also. His vision's definitely nice up there at 105. Then we got Mike Piazza. And he actually has better hitting attributes than Ken Griffey. So I was kind of surprised about this. But this is also a really good hitting card. 116 contact versus righties. 125 versus lefties. 109 power versus righties. And 115 versus lefties. 111 vision. Has silver tier defense. So... That's not that great, I guess, for a catcher. But I don't really rate defense that high for catchers either. You know, arm strength is definitely a big thing. And he's, his is only 74. So, like, that's the only thing I would care about for a catcher. And his is kind of low. But, you know, it's still a really good hitting card. As far as, like, catcher goes, he might be the best hitting catcher. I have to, you know, check everyone again. But his contact numbers are really good. His power numbers are really good. Same with his vision. 45 speed kind of low but then again he is a catcher he also can play first base but you know there's a lot of options at first so i probably don't recommend him there catcher you know he's obviously good then we got jackie robinson so i think this is a low key really good card i, I think people are sleeping on this card has 119 contact versus righties 122 versus lefties 80 power versus righties and 79 versus lefties 125 vision and then 86 fielding diamond tier defense and 95 speed so 119 plus contact pretty much 80 power 125 vision and 95 speed like that's really good you know that's really good right there i think he could be this best second baseman in the game you know i know a lot of people put roberto alomar up there but jackie robinson's attributes they're just as good if not better and i think he's gonna be a really good option you know and i don't think his swing is that bad either so i know a lot of people you know, they look at these three choices and they probably take Griffey first, probably Piazza second, and don't even think about Jackie. But I think that Jackie card is going to be really good. So, uh, what I ended up doing, because when I got this done, there was a few people that already had Griffey. I took Piazza because there wasn't any on the market. And I tried to sell him for like 500k, didn't sell him. Then, like when I woke up, I was getting undercut. Someone sold him for like 439. So, I still have my Piazza right now. I might just do a debut video with him. Since we have him and then, you know, try to sell him for like 300k. You know, I probably could have got more out of him, but that's what we might end up doing unless I sell him, you know, in the next hour or so by the time this is up or something. So if that doesn't happen, then Mike Piazza debut coming out soon. So also, you know, I, d I did mention the Conquest board. So the board itself, very simple. You know, the missions, you do have to do a steel fan phase and that's only 3 million fans. Nothing that serious. You pretty much have to play an extra game. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six games in total that you have to play. So the way that I did this is I went straight down the middle and then pick a side. You know, either go right or left, do all the right-hand side first, and then come down to Seattle and then do the left hand. That's the way I did it. But, you know, it's a very simple to do. So here is the board, you know, empty, but the locations show where some of the hidden packs are. So we have a few standard packs, a show pack, and then the Cincinnati Red Stronghold, you get a gold player pack. So that's pretty much just a guaranteed gold live series. But there is a chance, I think, that you can get a diamond out of that. And then the Dodger Stronghold, there's a July player of the month pack. So that's pretty nice right there. The Mariners, you have a ball and is a habit pack. And then a little bit under the mats, there's a five pack bundle that you can also get. So those are pretty much the hidden packs in this conquest board and like i said the conquest board in itself is pretty easy to do so that's pretty much it with like the program itself now the packs i'm not gonna open up i think a majority of these just because the standard and the show packs i'm gonna save those for pack out i'm gonna save i'll open up a couple ball and as a habit i guess we can open up this gold player one there's a one in 28 for a diamond so that would be pretty nice if we can get a diamond you know, of course, uh, we get Lugo, which is actually not bad. I think he just got upgraded recently. We'll open up the Twitch drop packs. You don't get these from anything here, but... <laughs> Yo, Twitch drop coming in clutch. Let's go, baby. Man, too bad this, was, this wasn't for pack out. But wow, Twitch drop packs dropping the diamonds. That's actually pretty nice. This is the second time I have gotten a diamond from a Twitch drop pack also. So I'll take that. Now, who could this be? We have, is this, oh, Red Sox. 
Who's on the Red Sox? Oh, bro, who, JD or Mookie? I don't think Mookie has that many home runs, does he? I don't know who this is. This is JD. Okay. You know, it's still it's still some extra stubs. I'll definitely take that right there. You know, but a diamond from the Twitch packs, I'll take that all day. You know, I will take that all day. Damn, he's only 7K right now. But, you know, that, that still helps. That definitely still helps. Let's see if we can get something from this. So these are 1 in 50 odds. Actually, they changed those. Because they used to be 1 in 100 odds. So interesting right there. We got Alonzo. Not bad. Now, the All-Star, I think I'll save for pack out the July monthly awards and the tops. Now, I still haven't done the moments for those. So I'll do those all together. And then set 18, I'll do when I open up the set 19 also. And then we have the gear up. They should actually make this a diamond or a prestige gear up choice pack. I don't know why they're still giving out golds. But... You know, whatever. We'll just take this because I don't have it. We'll quick sell it anyways. Now, we'll open up, I think, like, two or three of the ball in his habit. I think you get three all together from, like, all the grinding from the moments and stuff like that. So, we'll open up some of these. And we get David Price right there. I want to save at least two of them for a pack out when we get around to that. But we get another goal, Tommy Pham. And then the last one will open up right here. And can we get a diamond? Three straight golds, Glaber Torres. So the rest we'll save for other pack openings. And, you know, like I said, once we do the, the moments for the tops now and stuff like that for July, we'll open those up. And set 18 and set 19 will be together and the rest are for pack out. So those were our packs pretty much. I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing really else to go over with the six inning program. You know, the best tip is to do everything involved in the program. Do all your daily missions. And then whatever you have left over, just grind versus the CPU. The way I do it and the way I've been doing it the last few programs is actually play now games. So I'll show you guys real quick. You go to play now rosters and then pick whatever team you want. Normally I do the Nationals just because Strasburg has a quick motion. You know, play. actually you should be the away team. You want to play at an AL stadium. So you, you have the DH, but quick counts on and then player lock with Strasburg get those nine inning games done it takes like it takes like five to ten minutes per game and you should get one program point exit out of that game and you just repeat you know it is a grind but that is the easiest way to do it when you're trying to grind you know the last 20 30 40 whatever you have program points and get that done you know that's gonna do it for this let me know where you guys are at with the six inning program also which boss you're gonna take because I took Piazza just because I was trying to get stubs out of it. It didn't really work out in our favor. Griffey is definitely the move. And we'll probably pick him up a little bit later in the month. Or maybe next month. You know, towards the end of the program. Just because, um, you know, we, we try to be smart with our stubs. Being no money spent and all. So, let me know who you guys are going to end up taking. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.